Uh, so interesting news here, interesting Apple news <laughs> from Apple. Uh, and no, Tim Cook is still CEO. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, we've got a lot of, of people that are from the Steve Jobs era that are kind of sort of dropping off, leaving Apple or just kind of switching roles or whatever. Uh, Johnny Ive, he left uh, Apple, um, started his own design company. And you hear him, he's like, the iPhone is the aluminum cover with a casing that is marvelous. I think my UK paper would love it. I know possibly the UK is probably like, oh my god, he can't do an accent of ours. Oh my god, he, he sucks. I can't believe it. Me too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, Phil Schiller um, is w the guy you see in um, in uh, the keynotes. And he presents the iPhones, uh, uh, the WWDC. He's, he's a huge part of it. Uh, so is Craig Federici. And now Craig Federici and um, Phil Schiller, I think, are the two best speakers of keynotes. Now, they don't really get tongue-tied like the others. And Phil Schiller sometimes does just with his speech pattern or whatever. But... Um, he, he was the, uh, I think the vice president or the president of, uh, world marketing affairs. So the, the, uh, of the mar marketing management. Uh, and, uh, so today, I guess he now became an Apple fellow because he's been there since like the eighties or something. He's like from the old days back. Like I think they had the iBook, the power book, the Newton. I mean, he, he was everywhere. Um, and uh, so today, uh, it was announced that he's now leaving the role of um, the role of uh, chief marketing person, and he's now going on to the App Store. And I'm curious to see what that's going to be like. Uh, and you know, um, you know, he says, you know, hey, look, man, I've got some projects in the future I want to do. I want to help my friends and family. You know, this and this and that. I don't, you know, and, and hey, you know, a smaller role. Maybe he could have a little bit, a little bit more time. Who knows what it's like behind the scenes? But I thought that I would play this video, um, and it's uh, to me it brings a little bit of tears to my eyes, and because um, you know in about two months it's gonna be the ninth anniversary of Steve Jobs passing away, but uh, and next year will be ten, of course. Um, but Phil Schiller was with Steve Jobs a lot, and they did a lot of funny things, a lot of funny crap in the, in the keynotes, and I just thought I would share just a little bit of it. I'll post a video uh, that I found on YouTube. Um, for now, you're just going to look at me. Wee! And my messed up hair. Look at that. Some terrible, terrible hair there. Look at that. Um, and uh, so I just thought I would play this. Uh, it's Steve Jobs, Phil Schiller. Some of the best moments. Is, uh, let's go to iChat, and uh, I don't have a lot of friends, uh, just Phil. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, launch iChat here. Yeah, I don't have a lot of buddies, just Phil. And uh, so I'm going to see if he wants to, uh, to video chat with me here. Hey, Steve, how's it going? It's going great. I'm calling you on the new iMac, and how do I look? Oh, you look awesome. That's sweet. <laughs> Phil works for me. <laughs> Where's Phil, I wonder? Woo! The world, the world does revolve around me. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you could be somewhere other than you are when you're on an iChat? And, uh... <laughs> okay. Whoa. Now, this is cool. We can imagine all the kinds of people you can have a lot of fun with, so. <laughs> yeah. I like my Mac. <laughs> like in Star Wars doing a hologram. That people be like me, you know, you hope. <laughs> so let's say uh, Phil Schiller, my neighbor, comes over, and uh, he's got his MacBook. And Phil, what do you got on your MacBook? You got some content we can watch? Hi, neighbor. I've got another call coming in. Johnny, can I put you on hold for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I put Johnny on hold, and hi, Phil. 
Well, that is, that is, of course, the uh, video I'm going to show you. Uh, so, um, <laughs> just some funny things there. I mean, it's hilarious. It's so cute. It's funny. It's like, oh, man, it's going to be hilarious. You guys should watch the watch this video. But, <laughs> but watch this video, too, because it is so hilarious. Just to see Phil, like, in those times, be so funny. Funny. He was so freaking hilarious. And, you know, uh, Steve Jobs, too. I mean, just to see the man, because he was always so serious and always wanting to, you know, he made jokes about Microsoft and Windows. He probably is doing it in heaven. Like, hey, God, did you know Microsoft sucks? Put down that computer. Here, I brought you a Mac. Like, I can... <laughs> right? But it's like, um, you know, just to see them both interact like that is, is just an incredible feat. It's just something so cool that they had a real friendship. And I think, you know, as much as Phil might like Tim, I think that you you cannot get over that friendship that uh, Steve and, uh, you know, you know, you know, it, it, how do I put this? It's so great to see that, you know, that bond can't be broken and, you know, just to see that friendship was so cool. But uh, I just wanted to share the news that now he's going to be moving on to the App Store, some Apple news. Uh, and I uh, hope you enjoy this video.